you want to just try one? <clears throat> yeah, let's go for it. All right, so breakups suck. We all know this, and they're actually made 30 times harder in the age of social media because you are like being constantly reminded that your ex is still alive and looking gorgeous and all his or her hip Instagram shots, which by the way, you know they're taking so you can see. My question then is, how do you survive a breakup in the age of social media? Here's what you guys have to say. Do you delete photos of you and your ex in all your feeds? Um, I haven't. I haven't in the past. No. I delete most of them. I keep <laughs> the two good ones, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't, just because we ended on good terms. Good. So, no, not Probably in the Probably not. Case. It would be childish. Yeah. I like, it, like in, okay, except if like it ended on really bad terms. Yeah, like yeah, I know I someone that ended on really bad terms and she just deleted every single trace of their like relationship it never on existed. social media. <laughs> I say unfollow, block. Delete. Oh like, my god. At least a little bit until you've moved on and then re add them. Oh, totally. No. Oh, totally. <laughs> yeah. She says no. She's no, like, absolutely. absolutely. History no, no. is part of history. You, you need to keep it. No, but like, it's on your Facebook and like, if you met like this guy and he's just see picture of you with your ex, you might think that you're like nah. still with him. So, no, yeah, I didn't. Hey, yeah. Right, yeah. I, I untag myself. Do you change your relationship status right away? I don't have a relationship status on social media. That's like the biggest mistake you could make. Well, I've had breakups, like, not romantically, but definitely, like, friendship-wise. Interesting. And, like, um, for some, like, that could be worse, because, like, I don't know, but, like, my friends have been with me longer than, like, like if I were to have a boyfriend. <laughs> do you lurk ex-boyfriends? I do. Oh, okay. I actually just went through a breakup recently, and I, I, I lurk him still. Does it, like, does it does. make you, like, nuts? It drives me nuts, yeah. I'm even the type to like look through like Twitter favorites. Oh That's, my like, god! Crazy. Like, do you creep other people you see in a photo with an ex? Be honest. Not really. I used to a lot, but not anymore. <laughs> you're a reformed creeper. Yeah, exactly. When you're creeping your ex, which sounds incredibly creepy, um, are you careful of the accidental like? Oh yes, you have to be careful. You cannot go and like one of their pics from 76 weeks ago. Watch out for them double taps, man. Yeah. So would you turn off your data for like a whole week just to like get away from the whole thing? Okay. Like deleting? Oh. No, like just not okay. be like turning oh, my data off. off. Like I'm just like, okay. no, I'm not do doing that. that. Is that insane? Yeah, yeah. I, can't do <laughs> I can't do that. I think that's insane on our part that we just can't. I exactly. Can't that. No, you gotta post that post breakup selfie. Like, uh. yeah, that's gonna happen. <laughs> So the one thing one must do when they go through a breakup in the age of social media. I would just say don't stalk your ex's new <laughs> girlfriends, new or, girlfriends or anyone they're seeing because the double tap like is really scary. It's an issue. Yeah. No, don't, don't make that make post where, where it's like, bad. I'm single, guys. No. <laughs> I try to minimize my presence on the internet as much as possible so that people, so that if I start dating someone, they won't see things that happened in the past, right? You really got to like regulate like your time with like the people that you spend like in real life like with each other rather than like people you like talk through a screen because like there really is a big difference between like social media and like having real people that support you like that you can touch make sure to tell us your thoughts on the ways to survive a breakup in the age of social media peace